When you boondock like I do, one of the most important things that you need is power. I wanted to do a little um, product review for you today on the one that, that I use. I'm including in the description below uh, the link to my Amazon store for the one that, that I use. And I'm also including the link to the solar panels, which I don't have yet. So let's do it. Here's my product review. This is the one that I use. It is a Grisel. It's a 500 watt and I want to show you what the features are. This is a 500. You can get them from 300 all the way up to 1200. And what that actually means is after you use 500 watts, the battery is dead. To charge it, you plug this in here and you plug this into your car charger. Right now I'm going to just plug it into an outlet I have here in my in my van. Okay, you can see once I turn it on, it starts to power. It tells you how many watts are going into the um, power station. It will get a little ways. I looked at it a little while ago, and it was up to, I think, 80. It will charge fully in um, when you plug it into your car in six to eight hours. It does come... Uh, you, can, you can buy external solar panels for it, and it will charge that way as well. Um, I'm just letting this charge some more. It's up to 72%. I just unplugged it and plugged it back in there for a second because I had to move it, so that will get back up to 80. So let me show you what, what we have here. We have two AC outlets. And this is where you hook your solar in up here. I don't have the solar panels that I would love to have for this. So maybe Purcell will see this and send them to me. But you have um, USB chargers here. These are the A's and then you actually have a C down here. And um, this one, is they're all quick charge. So they will charge, you know, two times faster. This one over here is for, it, you have to have an adapter if you can plug your camera into it. If you have some high power camera, which I don't. And uh, this one, of course, is your DC. Um, so I have another connector I can put right in here. And I have a, an A and a C on here so I can charge my phone or whatever I need to at the same time. It also has um, a port, um, wireless charger up here that you can use. It has also a light on the side and you can actually it's actually an SOS light as well if you just click the click it twice and uh, so if you're in trouble there you go you got help coming on the way Dead. Um, so uh, we're up to 81% input now let's start putting some things in and see how much draw they have so you can see what you can actually use on on this to charge so let me plug some things in oh well it took me a minute to find enough things to plug in so let's take a look at what we have going on here okay we're up to 73 percent the power in is at 83 watts the um ac out well we're gonna uh dc out i mean is over here and here i have my watch plugged in and i have um one other thing plugged in there. What is it? Oh, my phone. My phone that I'm using. I have that plugged in here. Okay, and my the USBs um, it was 45 watts output. I have plugged in here my chart, uh, my um, Netgear. I have my iPad. I have a diffuser plugged into it, and I have my ring light plugged into it as well. And all of those things are, this, this light shuts off after 20 seconds. And all of those things are, are pulling 46 watts. Now, <clears throat> my AC output, I have my two computers hooked in here, and they're only pulling um, 31 watts and I'm not sure, I, th I think maybe one of them is charged, so that may be not accurate. Wireless phone charger part is up here. That's included in, in there. So I don't have anything plugged into my AC right now. My DC output over here, I still have two things plugged in and my USB I have here. Okay, if you do the um, 
the watts on that and the math on that, if you add numbers up, 31, 30, 31, uh, 21, so that's 50, and then my computers, um, that's going to be 70. Looks like it's going to be, those three numbers together are going to be just about 70 watts. And I have 500 watts, so if you do that math, i got to take this off in order to do that. <laughs> I have 500 watts. Of course, it's not fully charged, but if it was fully charged, 500 divided by, by 70. It takes seven hours with all of those things plugged in in order to run this down to zero with all those things plugged in. Happy with this no. unit? I haven't tried other ones, but I'm thinking that for the price, which this is a little cheaper than the Jackery or um, the Blue Eddy, for instance, but I have, I can plug in what, nine things here all at the same time, and um, it would take a long time for it to run down. Sometimes when I'm driving, what I like to do is um, keep it plugged in over here. The other end of this, I have it plugged in now. But I can plug this into my car charger. And I can be driving and charging this up. And also plug all my other things in so they're charging as well. So when I get stopped, hopefully this has got up to 100% and everything else has been charged at the same time. So I'm very happy with this unit. I would recommend it highly. Don't forget this would also be useful for times when in the winter when your power goes out or you know a hurricane or other times that you lose power in your house and you need to have your, your you know small things charged. Um, don't plug you know your microwave into it because that would be the end of your power station. But it's useful in other items in other ways than just um, for me and my van time of this recording it is at amazon for 418 dollars and it has a hundred dollar off coupon so i'm going to post this right away you might want to jump in there and and see if um it's still there because that's a, a steal